What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. Today I decided I was going to read some of my Instagram DMs to you guys because I think some of y'all will get like a kick out of this and it'll make you crack up. They're pretty crazy sometimes and they're funny and sometimes, you know, they're too much. So I thought it'd be very interesting. I feel like some of you guys would love to like see what some people are messaging me. And I'm sure some of you who send me very weird DMs are probably even going to watch this. Also, before we start, you guys know I'm still going to be doing these videos on my channel too. So it'll be a mixture of literally whatever I want to post and my pranks. So stay tuned for more upcoming pranks, but for right now, I'm just going to be reading you guys some of my Instagram DMs. First up, what those naked feet look like. The amount of feet DMs that I get is insane. Like I don't post my feet on my social media because like, people get really weird about my like feet in general. I used to post photos on my Instagram of me like traveling and I was always barefoot and people will literally crop photos of my feet and send them to me in my DMs. They'll ask me to buy feet pictures. They'll make albums in their photo camera roll, which it's weird, yeah, but it's actually just like insane to me how many people have like foot fetishes. I didn't really, understand it was like a really big thing, but it is. So like, you know, Danny has her only feet, shout out to her. I've thought about making like an only feet. Don't know if I ever will, maybe one day, I don't know, we'll see. I feel like I should though, because you know, why wouldn't you wanna get paid for posting your feet? That's like the easiest money anyone could probably ever make. But yeah, I probably get a couple feet DMs a day asking if they could buy feet photos or if I could just send them. Also, I just found out on Instagram that there's a hidden request like message section that I never knew about. And I clicked that while I was looking for like funny DMs to find. And there were so many DMs I've never seen, but I already get like a lot of DMs on my like message requests. And then there was this whole other page I had no idea idea about. So I guess a lot of the time people are DMing me and I'm not even seeing it. Now I know I have a lot more DMs to go through that I've like never known about and it's been a very long time. So if I've ever missed your DM, that's probably why. Someone commented um, on my gym photo and said, nice thighs, seriously. Um, I have no thighs. I am literally built like a cheese stick. I have like not really any muscle in my body. I'm trying to gain muscle, that's why I've been going to the gym a lot, but you're lying. So now said on my Coachella selfie, nice tits. My tits look tiny in this photo, so you're lying. Someone said, um, your body make me wanna The amount of like DMs I get, guys saying they, you know, do the, thing to their thing, you know what I'm talking about. Um, they'll be like, yeah, I just, I hate the word, say, I hate saying it five times today to your photos. I don't wanna know that, I don't wanna hear that. I, that grosses me out. Also, when I get like really, really inappropriate DMs and I actually see them, I will just straight up block the person because I don't have time for this, I don't have time for you, I don't, I don't wanna see it, you know? My block list on Instagram is really, really big because I just hate seeing really inappropriate stuff in my messages. This one was shocker to me. This girl said, okay, so basically you're hot and I watch your vids all the time. I'm not super insecure or anything, but they do make me wonder if my fiance would cheat given the opportunity. Do you do loyalty tests? We get married in December and it would be nice to know beforehand. I have never gotten a message like this. And it's like crazy cause it's like, she's pretty much just asking me if I will like DM her fiance to see if he'll message back and like flirt back. But like, as much as I would wanna help you out sis, I'm scared. I like don't wanna ruin somebody else's marriage. Like that is not for me, but I know there are some girls out there that will help you do that. I've seen TikToks on it. So I'm sure somebody will help you, but I'm too scared to do that. This guy said, hey, would you be interested in selling me your dirty socks? I have had men try to buy dirty socks, dirty gym clothes, dirty underwear. I get dirty underwear a lot. And some of you sick men will literally message me like on Depop where I sell my clothes that I've worn if you could buy like used underwear. And I'm, I, that is like not okay. Like. 
I would never sell dirty underwear. That is so gross. And the fact that people actually like, like that is beyond me. I do not understand that. Isn't this ironic that I'm like wearing a shirt that says send nudes? Speaking of nudes, I used to get a lot of like dicks in the day and I feel, I feel like I, I haven't gotten one in a really long time, but I feel like guys are still sending them to me, but Instagram probably like filters them out, which I'm very grateful for. So yeah, no dick pics in a really long time, which is really nice. We want an OnlyFans, please make a nude OnlyFans, haha. -ha. Yeah, as much as I was talking about only feet, I can't even come to make something just for like my feet. I would never ever just post nude selfies or everything on the internet. That is just like not for me. I just don't want my body out there like that. It's not who I am. The most nudity you will get is on my Instagram. And you know, some of my old photos have like, I'm like completely naked, but you just can't see anything and you're welcome. So there's that. And you get it for free. Like, I shouldn't even be posting it for free, but some of those photos are so cool. So there you go. This guy said, please fart on me. I get some of these messages here and there, like guys asking if I could fart on them or if they could fart on me. But I don't think I would ever fart on somebody. I mean, I probably have farted on my boyfriend, but I... <laughs> I, uh, TMI, I, uh, wouldn't fart on somebody random. So I actually get a lot of guys trying to send me money just to either like just talk to them or just send me money to send me money. But I never like follow through with it because there's so many people out there that need money more than me. Like I just don't want someone random just to like send me money that's from like their paychecks and you know, I don't know how much money they have. And I just, it doesn't feel right to me for somebody to just like randomly send me money. Like, that, I don't know, maybe it's cause I also have like a boyfriend. I've never just like had gone through with letting somebody just send me money. Cause it's like, I don't know. You should put that money to better use than just to send it to some girl on the internet. I get a lot of uh, pickup lines, of course, you know, the good old pickup lines. So this one says, what's the difference between my glasses and you? My glasses usually sit higher on my face. I give you, um, a seven out of 10, because that one was good. That one was definitely good. But um, sometimes I get really, really inappropriate pickup lines. And sometimes I get very normal pickup lines, but that's just a taste of it. This one's gold. I want to live like a plug in your Why? 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 You don't even like want to know what's in my butt. And then again, he sends another message and goes, please let me eat your Y'all amaze me, y'all amaze me. Would you answer bad questions if I paid? Like I said, people always try to pay me to talk to them, but this guy wants to know if I would answer bad questions. But this is like, I've gotten this a few times and that's weird. I don't feel comfortable with that. And you know what, in the back of my mind, I'm always like, okay, let's say I went through with this. Let's say I went ahead and answered your bad, dirty questions. like. You can literally screenshot it, take a photo of it, and post it online. And I would just get exposed for anything. Like, even if I had like an OnlyFans, I know people would take photos and screenshot it and just expose me on everything. I don't know, the feeling of getting exposed like that is just something I'm not comfortable with. So this one says, I would love to be your simp boy. Tell Johnny to leave because I'm stepping in. <laughs> I also find it funny that like I've never met these people. They may live like halfway around the world from me and they just, you know, what do they think that I'm just going to break up with my boyfriend and like move in with them? I don't even know who you are. I don't understand half the things people send me. I don't. But you know what? That's, that's the social media world of being a girl. I'm sure lots of women go through stuff like this and it's actually kind of crazy to think about to me. You guys are crazy. This was just a small glimpse of some of the DMs I get. I could go on forever. I could make this video probably hours and hours long. But like I said, I block very inappropriate DMs. I've even had guys email me after I block them after sending a really nasty DM. I block them and then they'll try and email me and apologize and be like, 
hey, I'm so sorry, like, can you please unblock me? And I'm like, no, you said something nasty. I blocked you and now you want me to unblock you? That's not how life works. Maybe you shouldn't have sent that nasty DM in the first place. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it made you laugh a little. I hope it lets you see what I have to deal with on a daily basis. I wouldn't really say these things bother me that much. You gotta have like a strong shell to be on social media. So I just choose to ignore it for the most part. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, don't forget to follow me, and I will see you guys in the next video.